Hi, I'm here with this week's happiness strategy. I'll be reading aloud our weekly featured article. Every week I feature an article on empowered living on my website, and I also share my writing out on Thrive Global. I share both the article, a video, as well as some other tips and strategies out every Thursday morning to my list called M's Weekly Inspiration. And if you're not already signed up to receive those free notes, you can do so by following the link that I'll share below this video. I'll also share the direct link to the article in case you want to have a read through later. This week our article is called Trust in Your Inner Wisdom, and it's one that I wrote a couple of years ago, but it still fits and it felt timely. How often do you discount your inner wisdom? Do you allow the noise from the outside world to overshadow the guidance and truth living within you? We are all influenced by life happening around us. It is natural to check in and see where we fit in with the rest of the world. The problem arises when we forget we have an inner guide we can trust to steer us in a direction most aligned with who we are. The problem grows into a giant monster when we turn our back on that wise voice and allow our ego to become the driving force of our lives. This is where true suffering is born. There is no need to get ahead of ourselves and panic or fear our ego. We can always come back to the sacred place within us to get grounded and hear the gentle whisper of our truth. If we're out of practice, it may take a bit of time to figure out which voice is our ego and which one is our truth center, but it won't take long. Our truth is a voice that will feel right. This voice is calming and non-judgmental. She will remind you all is well and to look around you for the evidence to prove why this is so. She will drop gentle hints and nudges to go in a particular direction or to reach out to a certain person. This voice is your intuition and she is powerful and humble. She is often overshadowed by the booming voice of the ego, but she understands the ego has a place and will add to the human journey you are on. She will never leave you, even if you lead long stretches of life from your ego. When you make your way back, she will dust you off and offer you the inner wisdom and guidance you had been tirelessly searching outside to find. She will always be there. These three practices are the ones I go to when I need a bit of extra help to connect back in and hear my inner wisdom. These practices help me put all of the noise in perspective and find my way back home. If they resonate with where you are on your journey, give them a try and see how they fit. Practice number one, stop justifying and you will quiet the noise. Stop justifying. We don't have to validate why we feel the way we do or why we are on a particular path. In the grand scheme of life, the explanation isn't necessary. Nobody is truly that focused on anybody else. Everyone is on their own journey trying to navigate the best they can. Others can't make better decisions for us than our inner wisdom. Engaging in explanations to justify our inner wisdom only separates us from our truth. When we justify, we send the message we don't really trust what we are being guided towards and that we need external validation to hear we are okay and on the right track. It's like saying to our truth center, I hear you, I trust you, but hang on a second. I'm going to just go check in with my friends over there to see if they think you are right first. Our inner spirit and truth is truth. It won't misguide us or hurt us. Our inner spirit is pure. It is light and love and is within all of us who are walking a human journey. It is okay. We all have one, so it doesn't have to be explained. It is much more empowering and valuable to the world when we honor our inner spirit and then express ourselves from this place. Stepping into our truth will quiet the noise and remove the need to justify our place in the world. When we trust ourselves to be ourselves, our suffering ends. Practice number two, be an observer. Notice yourself, your words, your feelings, and your reactions in your body. Are you holding your breath? What is the tone of the words you say aloud? Start to really listen to your thoughts and spoken words. See if you can tell if it is your ego shining through or your inner truth. When we practice listening, it becomes easier to detect which voice is truth and which one is not. This doesn't mean we can get rid of our ego. <laughs> Let that thought go. We can make friends with her though and nurture her and give her productive jobs to do, like focusing on deep intentional breathing or taking in the sights and sounds around us. What do you notice when you clear your mind of the need to talk, be noticed, and be heard? Is there space? 
Taking the people around you through this vast space, do you see love? You might even be surprised to see your own human self reflected in their eyes. When we become observers in our lives, we allow life to move through us. We become a conduit for love. We get to see the world through the eyes of love and through the heart of truth. The stories and hurts that once occupied the space in our hearts and minds become welcoming spaces to hear our inner truth. This truth will lead us to our higher path and help us see the good in other people and the world around us. Practice number three, believe what you know is true. If your inner voice is pleading for you to make a move and you still aren't budging, here is your opening to trust yourself more. I get what, is, what it is like to turn your back on yourself and not trust yourself to know what is best. I led long stretches of my life from the belief my voice wasn't enough. Through continued practice, I have found the more I listen and trust myself with the little things in life, the easier it, is, it has become to believe what I know is true in the bigger areas of my life. If it helps, take baby steps to trust your wise voice. You don't have to jump in all at once. Warm up to the idea you are magnificent, powerful, and wise. Know that all the guidance you could ever hope for lives within you. Having faith in yourself is the most powerful gift we can give ourselves and the most empowering place we can lead our lives from. Believe what you know is true. Trust in your inner wisdom. So I'll leave you with those thoughts this week. And just as a reminder, you can go back through this article. I will include the link below this video. And I just encourage and invite everyone to just notice yourself this week to see if you can't um, guide your life a little bit more from, from your inner wisdom and to trust in yourself and to lead your, your conversations and your choices, even if they're just you know small words and actions and, and decisions throughout your day, to lead them from your inner guide. And, and you'll know that you're being true to yourself when it feels right in your body. Um, that's always a good indication. And to just have some fun with it and to, and to play with this practice. Um, it's one that um, I don't think we ever <laughs> perfect, but it's one that we can um, just practice and be gentle with ourselves through on, on a moment to moment basis. And, um, and when we do get a bit more practice at really just trusting in ourselves and, and making our daily decisions from our inner truth, um, that is when we are living from a place of empowerment and when we are most aligned with who we are and we end up um, moving through life and life's bumps and challenges um, a little bit easier than when we are also battling ourselves and our ego. Um, so again, I just hope that you have an amazing week and you can look back through the article if that speaks to you. And as always, um, I wish you all the best this week and I look forward to connecting again soon. Thank you.